An important goal of stormwater services is the preservation of water quality in the streams, rivers, and lakes of our community. Streams provide habitat for wildlife, corridors for recreation, and natural buffers that soften our urban environment. They are significant assets in the high quality of life our city enjoys. Water is the life source for these corridors, and maintaining its quality is imperative to protecting them. Stormwater Services is continually monitoring the state of water quality throughout the watersheds within the city. Real-time monitoring stations are sited to provide an accurate measure and good overall picture of water quality, as well as quickly targeting problem areas. We are doing our part to minimize and control water pollution on the broad scale, but also we need individual citizens to take part in personal pollution prevention measures. Prevention has the potential for the greatest impact on the problem. The first rule of pollution prevention is the understanding that anything that goes down storm drains flows directly to our creeks and lakes. The two most significant pollutants are sediment and fecal coliform bacteria, but there are many others. Sediment comes from erosion from land under development, soils exposed due to lack of vegetation, and creek banks and channels damaged by excessive flows. Large-scale fecal coliform pollution is usually the result of sanitary sewer overflows, but contamination can also occur from domestic or even wild animal waste entering streams and lakes. The first step to action as an individual is becoming aware of the potential pollutants you may find around your own home. Household hazardous waste, such as unused paint or cleaning products in liquid form, can be spilled and find their way into streams. Hot cooking grease, when poured down a kitchen drain, will cool and congeal on the sides of pipes, drastically reducing their ability to carry wastewater. Yard waste, such as fallen leaves and grass clippings, can clog storm drains and, although biodegradable, can have damaging effects on streams. Dog waste is a source of fecal coliform pollution if it enters water. Yard chemicals such as pesticides and fertilizers can be carried by rain into streams and lakes, especially when over-applied or allowed to fall directly onto sidewalks and driveways. Poorly maintained vehicles can drop oil, transmission fluids, and even metals from brake pads onto driveways, where they can easily be washed into streams. Even the soap from washing our cars can have negative effects on a stream's ecological balance. The second step is simply changing practices that have a potentially negative impact. Household hazardous waste can be taken to local recycling centers. Latex paint can be made inert by allowing it to dry before disposal with household trash. Another option is to use cat litter to absorb it. Bag yard waste and place it at the curb for pickup. Or start a compost pile and create a useful garden product. Pick up after your pet, carry a grocery bag, and dispose of it in a trash can. To help reduce sewer blockages, collect cooking grease in a jar or can to cool and dispose in the trash. To prevent yard chemicals from reaching streams, properly apply fertilizers and pesticides. Get a soil test done to determine the accurate amount of fertilizer to apply. Spot treat problem areas with pesticides rather than the whole yard. Don't apply chemicals at all near streams or lakes. Avoid fertilizing when heavy rain is forecast. Sweep up any fertilizer that is lying on driveways and sidewalks. Replant or mulch bare areas to avoid soil erosion. Keep vehicles well maintained to reduce leaks and limit brake dust. Use cat litter to soak up any leaks. Use a professional car wash which is required to recycle water or simply wash cars on the lawn. Individuals can help reduce runoff by installing a rain barrel or redirecting roof drains away from driveways and sidewalks into grassy or vegetated areas, which will absorb some of the runoff. These measures will help reduce the amount of water that can carry pollutants to storm drains and into streams. These are simple practices easy to implement. The greater the level of participation with the community, the greater the impact we'll have on the problem. In addition to practicing pollution control measures, 
Please report stormwater pollution problems in your neighborhood to Stormwater Services. Working together, we can help protect water quality and in doing so, preserve the beauty and viability of our important natural corridors. Stormwater Services, managing our stormwater together.